It's time to bid goodbye to paradise. The remaining pairs were presented with three options on how to wrap their journey. Get engaged, leave the beach together or break up. We conclude paradise with three engagements and one bromance for the ages. Hello fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to today's video. With prom night on the horizon, Bachelor in Paradise would soon be coming to an end. Noah and Abigail were still mid-breaking up when the episode began. Abigail and Noah were the first casualties on the beach. The two called it quits during the tail end of the prom date despite being considered one of the strongest pairs. A cancelled cocktail party by the bartender and guest host Wells Adams and the all-important rose ceremony sent Natasha and Chelsea home before more couples met their end. Couples decide their fate in last chance conversations. Despite Ed's persistent attempt to woo McKenna into a fantasy sweet date, she ultimately decide the two didn't have a future. McKenna is just not that into you, Ed. So they lived separately. James and Anna had a quick spark after their first date, but the connection wasn't enough to pursue. Anna wanted to continue to date outside the show, but James didn't feel like he could see them falling in love. Despite living without a girlfriend, James found a deep bromance with his friend Aaron. On his way out of the resort, James asked Aaron to leave the beach with him and head back to San Diego. Speaking of Aaron, he abruptly broke up with Tia in the hallway on his way out, leaving her without much explanation. James gave Aaron a piggyback ride out of Mexico and the two boarded the van and headed back to the States together. Tia lived paradise single. Hi. How are you? Great. Thomas and Becca had been steady since their first date together, but Becca expressed concerns about needing more humanity and realness from him. Thomas, for one, wants to keep their relationship going once they're back in the States. Becca, though, is having doubts. Becca ended the relationship which sparked an emotional outburst from Thomas. Thomas insisted he was falling in love with Becca and didn't understand her stance. We're calling off a potential life together because things are too good, he said, and to me, I can't make sense of that. Thomas ultimately accepted her decision and left in tears. I just don't want you to think what we had wasn't real and special. Becca chased after him to assure him their time together was genuine. Becca wanted to make sure he knew that she cared. Still crying, Thomas said, I wish you could see the faith I have in us. As she drove away from the beach separately, Becca began questioning her decision. Kenny and Mari were one of the earliest couples that faced obstacles and love triangles during their journey. In the end, the two were committed to each other and decided to go to the fantasy suite together. While Kenny felt secure in his relationship with Mari, during their last date, Kenny was initially hesitant about Mari's age and readiness to commit to marriage. Mari alleviated his fears and the pair agreed to the fantasy suites. Mari felt she found what she wanted in a partner in Kenny. Since meeting you and getting to know you and spending so much time together, I really found what I was looking for and what I came here for. She told him, I have such a good feeling about this and about us. After their overnight date, Kenny proposed to Mari. They both reiterated their feelings for each other before he joked about getting down on one knee. These old bones. She said yes and they left the beach together. 
Riley and Marissa are the first black couple to get engaged on Bachelor in Paradise and as a South African black female who's been hooked on the franchise since 2016, it is finally great to see a representation of love from people that look like me. But now back to the recap. Riley nearly gave Marissa a heart attack when he structured their conversation like a breakup. After revealing it was a joke, the two laughed and left for their time in the fantasy suites. When Riley explained to Marissa his dream of waking up on a Sunday morning next to his sleepy wife and hearing the pitter patter of tiny feet around the house, I was in love with their love. When I see you, I see Sunday morning, which feels unbelievably good, he said. I know for certain that I love you, there's no question. Marissa felt the same, I love you too, she said. They sipped champagne and ate whipped cream and strawberries in the hot tub before slipping into bed together. But the next morning, before parting ways, Riley expressed doubt to Marissa. Marissa woke up feeling good in the morning after her fantasy suites with Riley, but he made her nervous when he revealed he had to think some more about a potential proposal. Despite feeling nervous heading into her private road ceremony, Marissa mustered up the courage to tell Riley that he made her believe that fairy tales do exist. I really never believed at love at first sight and you've shown me that it truly is possible, she said. I knew I loved you the moment I met you. I am in love with you, Riley. And it is truly the scariest feeling in the world. But you make me feel safe. You make me feel protected. Those arms go better make you feel protected. Her fears were put to rest shortly thereafter when Riley proclaimed, Marissa, I love you and I've loved you since our very first date before popping the question and the two left engaged. Before Joe and Serena went to the fantasy suite, they both expressed excitement for live post show and that they looked forward to the normalcy of life. They both joked about how they both don't talk about their feelings and then proceeded to share how much they loved each other. As Joe was preparing himself for the proposal, Kendall makes another surprise entrance on Bachelor in Paradise which temporarily interrupted Joe. Kendall returned to the beach for a last ditch effort at closure, then congratulated Joe on his success with Serena. Joe was kind and listened to her speech before he sent her off with a hug and called her a catch. When Serena arrived for her proposal, she started the exchange by sharing her feelings. When it was Joe's turn to share, he admitted that Kendall had just left. But he said her cameo made him even more confident and assured in his relationship with Serena. He proposed and she accepted. Did you notice how Joe's voice broke when he said, will you marry me? Oh my God, my family's gonna kill me. I'm sure they're gonna kill me first, Joe replies. All three couples went with their hearts and got engaged. In the end, three couples leave engaged and are still engaged today. Congratulations Kenny and Mari, Riley and Marissa and Joe and Serena. Season 7 of Bachelor in Paradise has come to an end. Michelle Young's season of The Bachelorette will premiere on Tuesday, October the 19th on ABC. Familiarize yourself with all the men from her season by clicking the impression link or the I above. Please subscribe for more coverage and everything you need to know before she starts handing out those roses. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.